Do you know about Hack 5 Rubber Ducky or the WHID Wi-Fi Cactus? What if I tell you that both of those are no match for this new kid in town? Now, the Hack 5 Rubber Ducky is well known for running Ducky script. And the next evolution of it is the WHID Wi-Fi Cactus, which allows you to run script remotely. Now, what if I told you that there's this new device that can do all of those and so much more? Enter the USB Army Knife, okay? Now, now, not only the USB Army Knife can run scripts and execute them remotely, but it also comes back with a plethora of other features. For example, it can capture network traffic, it can become an evil access point, and even function as a screen viewer. This versatility makes it an invaluable tool to any cybersecurity professional. But wait, there's more. This USB army knife firmware is completely free plus the recommended device which is the t dongle s3 from lilygo is incredibly affordable at just 12 dollars now this combination of power and affordability makes the usb army knife a game changer when it comes to the realm of cyber security and pen testing now, that's the reason why I'll be showing you just how easy it is to set up the T-Dongle S3 with the USB Army Knife firmware. From installing the firmware to running your first attack script, it is a very straightforward process that anyone can follow. The first thing that you need to do is remove if there is an SD card inside of it. Okay. Now, as you can see this button, when you insert the USB, you try to press it for one second to enable the hardware mode. Now, the next thing that we need to do is download all of the binaries that we will be flashing to the T-Dongle S3. The first one is the boot up 0.bin. I'll be putting the link down below. And the next one I'll be showing you is on the rep repository of USB Army Knife. Now go to Actions and find the latest build, which is this one. Okay, so after that, at the bottom, you'll see firmware or artifacts, which are the binaries of the firmware. Download the necessary binaries for your specific device. And for me, this is the Lilygo T Dongle S3. And as you can see, I have all of the files here. And the next thing we need to do is go to esp.han.me, which is an ESP web tool. Okay. When you plug in the T dongle, you can go and click connect. And if you don't see a USB JTAG serial debug unit there, what you need to do is to replug it. And make sure that after one second, you stop pressing down the hardware button. So for me, let's do this. Okay, so as you can see, it is now connecting. And there are certain addresses where you need to put the binary. So first is on the 800, we need to put the partitions that bin. Let's go to temp, which is where I put it, USB 2. Let's go partition bin. On the E00 is the boot up 0 bin. And on the 10,000 is the actual firmware. And here, let's go 0. And this is the bootloader.bin. After we put everything, we just go and click program. Click continue and let's just wait for it to finish flashing. Okay, now that it is finished, 
your T dongle S3 is now ready to be used. Okay, so now I will be showing you how to execute a script remotely. Pick up your phone, go to your web browser, and go to the web interface. Below you'll see run script, choose the script that you want to run, and click execute. So you can see something's happening. Well, I hope the demonstration has given you a preview of how powerful the USB Army Knife is compared to Hack5 Rubber Ducky and WHID Cactus. Stay tuned for more tutorials on its functionality in this channel. As you can see, this is a must-have hacker gadget that you should definitely try out. So don't forget to share your experiences at the comment down below. And if you want other videos about hacking, please check out my other videos here on Hakista TV. Till next time, my fellow Hakista.